Today's apartment has me confused. It's got two floors, two baths, and three rooms. It could be a three bedroom, it could be a one bedroom. Plus it's in Gramercy Park on 25th Street, right by Madison Square. This should probably cost more, but it doesn't. Let's go find out why. What's up, man? We've arrived at Park Avenue and 22nd Street. That's how we got here on the 6th. But if you walk over towards 5th Avenue, you can pick up the R and the W train. And overall, the transportation here is not bad at all, especially if you're working in this neighborhood. You could just walk down Park Avenue South here and be at your office. It looks like we've got a grocery store across the street from where the train let us out. That's convenient because, you know, you have to eat. There are a ton of dental offices in this area. And this dentist is pretty smart because across the street is a Baked by Melissa. This place is the source of many cavities. And next to Baked by Melissa, there's a 7-Eleven where if you're willing to risk your life by drinking a canned heart attack, you might win a PS5. You're a teacher? Yeah. That's awesome. Let's give a thumbs up for local teachers in New York saving the world. Democracy Prep Harlem. Now, if you're a student at this college, you'll be able to just walk to class because Baruch is pretty much everywhere over here. There's another Baruch building right here. And then down Lexington Avenue, you can see the Chrysler building. Here we are on 3rd Avenue and 25th Street, and the apartment is just down the street this way on the other side of all this construction. And this is a pretty cool neighborhood. Right here, you've got two restaurants. This one's called Dog and Bone, but looking at the menu, I'm pretty sure they serve people. French toast with bacon, give me that, so that I can visit the dentist. Across from that, you can get a bagel. And if getting a bagel is not exciting enough for you, if you'd prefer to get drunk instead, I've heard rumors that this is the place to do it. Right here's a wine store, which looks like it's got a pretty good selection. And next to this, we've got an Indian restaurant, along with a deli, which is pretty much everything you're gonna need on a regular basis. Now, just around the corner from all that, we've got the street where the apartment is. I was pretty worried with all that construction, but this looks really peaceful. And I think that's what you want. Most people don't wanna live on a loud, annoying street, and this definitely doesn't seem that way at all. Or maybe it's quiet because of this creepy building right here. Look at this. I don't have the courage to go in there and find out what's going on. And we've arrived, that's the building. Let's head inside and take a look. Here we are, and this is a pretty interesting place. You've got what feels like a one bedroom apartment upstairs, but then down here, nice staircase by the way. Down here at the bottom of it, we've got laundry and two other rooms plus a half bathroom. This is definitely not something that you see every day, that is for sure. So let's check this whole place out and see what it's like to live here. And if you have fun watching, make sure you subscribe because I make three of these a week. Right over here, you've got the front door and then you've got the bathroom and the kitchen. And then you just kind of walk into this living space. Now the living space is separated from this bedroom by these pocket doors right here. And since these have glass in them, light can pass through. From the staircase to the wall, you've got eight feet, seven inches, and the room is 10 feet, 10 inches long. Put your couch against the railing, and if your couch is here, your entertainment center goes right there. That way there's a nice path from the kitchen all the way to the bedroom. And if you make this your living room, it's gonna be a great spot to have guests over. And because it's the first room right when you walk into the apartment, no one's got a reason to go over here to where you might be sleeping, or to whatever you choose to do with the rooms down in the basement that we'll check out in a second. Now the kitchen and bathroom are tucked off to the side of the living room right here. And this is definitely an efficient way of doing things.
You've got a full-size fridge right here next to the front door. And then the rest of the kitchen is along this wall here. And it looks like you've got just about everything. There's a microwave. You've got a four burner oven. Next to that, there's a dishwasher. And then we've got my favorite right here, a wine cooler, which doesn't have to be used for wine. Cabinets and storage here are great. In fact, they're so great that I can't reach all of them. You might have to be a giant to live here. Or you could get one of those step ladders from Home Depot and just keep it right over here in the corner. Now the bathroom that we've got upstairs is a full bath. It's got a standing shower with a window. And this is a pretty nice standing shower. It's easy to open the door and get in. I'm not bumping into anything. You've got vanity lights above these mirrors, which turn into medicine cabinets. It also looks like there's a little storage down here beneath the sink. And the sink itself isn't bad. It's got some counter space behind it. Overall, this is a good bathroom. And since you've got the half bathroom downstairs, if you decide to sleep down there, you don't have to come up here unless you wanna take a shower. Or if you're using this as a two or three bedroom, then of course, whoever's in the basement would also be using it. But let's check out all the rooms and decide what we think this place is best for. Up first is this upstairs room. And this is a good size, nine feet, three inches by 10 feet, six inches. You could easily get a queen size bed in here. And this closet's really good. On this side, we've got two spots to hang things up. And the other side over here is all shelving. That's definitely useful. And if that's not enough storage for you, you could put a couple of dressers right over here in the corner, no problem. So that makes a good bedroom. Let's head downstairs and figure out what we're getting ourselves into. The cool thing about this is this entire second level is like its own apartment. There's one room right around the corner there on the other side of the half bath, and the other room is right over here. This first room is nine feet, seven inches, by 10 feet, five inches. It does have a little window. I'm not sure if this could technically be considered a bedroom, but this could definitely be used as one if you wanted. You could have a bed down here or you could make this like a home office. There's also a pretty good closet back here and there's a door here. Let's see where it goes. It's got a couple of locks on it. All right, it looks like this leads to the basement, which looks nice and clean. Over here's the laundry. Again, we've got the washer and the dryer stacked on top of each other. We'll take another quick look at the half bathroom before we check out the other room. Okay, it's got a fan. There's a medicine cabinet. This is like the exact same thing we saw upstairs, but without the shower. All right, here we are in the second room. Oh, it doesn't look like the light is working but I can show you the room if I use my phone as a light. And it's actually a really good size. 10 feet, eight inches by 10 feet, six inches. This room's got a pretty big closet, which is nice. And behind the stairs, there's actually even more storage, which is great. And there's also another door, which we're just gonna open up real quick. I bet it leads to the basement. Yep, this one also leads to the basement. If you're here by yourself and you don't need two home offices, it could be like a den or a workout room. But no matter how you decide to set this place up, this is absolutely a unique apartment. And if you wanna rent it, check out the video description. There's a link to the agent who you can contact to get more information. But if you're not done with your apartment search yet, continue it by checking out one of these two apartment tours right here. And I'll see you in the next video.